Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about the main beer company. We're gonna follow the Flea Band Brothers back in 2009, starting their business to where they are today. They give a lot to charitable organizations. So if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. So let's grab a pint and enjoy the show. Allow me to introduce you to the Kleban brothers, David and Daniel. Their story shares striking parallels with the Bissell brothers, who also ventured into the brewing business as siblings. In both cases, one brother was deeply passionate about brewing, while the other possessed a keen business eye that encouraged them to transform their shared hobby into a thriving enterprise. These four men would later cross paths, but more on that later. The Kleban brothers' journey began when Daniel, a lawyer at the time, was introduced to home brewing by a colleague at his firm. He quickly became enamored with the craft, and David, a financial advisor with an entrepreneurial spirit, soon joined in the fun. While their first attempts at brewing were less than Stella, the brothers enjoyed the process and continued to hone their skills. One day, David asked his brother a pivotal question. Do you want to be a lawyer or a brewer for the rest of your life? And without hesitation, Daniel replied, a brewer. In 2009, the main beer company was established, located in the Riverton neighborhood of Portland, Maine, directly across from Allagash Brewing Company. To ensure they kept costs at a minimum, they opt for a one-barrel system. During their free time on nights and weekends, they dedicated themselves to brewing and bottling their beer. Main Beer Company released their first beer, Spring Peeper Ale, and began selling it door to door. Despite not making a profit during their first year of business, the company was committed to giving back to their local community. They joined the 1% for the Planet, a global nonprofit organization that aims to inspire businesses and individuals to support environmental solutions by donating at least 1% of their annual sales or salary to approved nonprofit organizations. In 2010, the main beer company underwent significant expansion, boosting their production capacity and enabling them to distribute their beer beyond Maine and into other states in the Northeast region. They upgraded to a 15 barrel brew house and acquired two 30 barrel fermenters with another one to follow. In 2013, the main beer company recognized that the Bissell brothers were looking for a location to establish their own brewery. As a result, David and Daniel offered to sell their spot at One Industrial Way to the Bissell brothers. They also sold them some equipment at a mutual beneficial price, thus avoiding the need to disassemble and reassemble the system. In April of the same year, Main Beer Company relocated to Freeport, Maine, which doubled their space. This move allowed them to expand their production capacity and release one of their most popular beers, Lunch, an Indian Pale Ale. In 2014, the main beer company was able to complete a significant solar installation on their roof with the assistance of a Rural Energy for America program grant. The production facility now has a system of 450 solar panels capable of producing 148 kilowatts of power. This amount of energy is enough to cover approximately 30% of the company's yearly energy requirements. In 2016, the main beer company further expanded its reach by distributing its beers to new states in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic regions. As of today, their beer is now available in 32 states. In 2018, they finalized construction of their present production facility. This entailed upgrading their brewing setup from 15 barrel to a 60 barrel brew house. At their production site, they have two 30 barrel fermenters, 
eight 120 barrel fermenters, five 240 barrel fermenters, and a variety of bright tanks. Additionally, they have a packaging line that consists of a keg machine capable of washing, sanitizing, and filling kegs at the rate of one per hour. Their bottling line, on the other hand, has an average speed of 120 bottles per minute. In addition to their solar panel system, they have also implemented a unique CO2 recovery system. They have produced 19,000 barrels in 2018. The Main Bear Company greets visitors with a charming Black Barn that serves as the inspiration for the Black Barn program. This initiative allows the brewers to experiment with unique recipes without pressure of meeting sales targets. The Tasting Room offers 20 draft lines featuring exclusive brewery-only releases and limited editions. The mezzanine area provides extra seating with a view of the production space and tasting room. They also serve fresh, locally sourced pizza cooked in a wood-fired oven. The main beer company lives by the motto, do what's right, and has made it a practice to support various non-profit organizations through donations raising over $2 million since 2009. Their commitment to give back to the community and making a positive impact is a core part of their values. Fun Facts The first beer produced by the main beer company was named Spring Peeper Ale after the small tree frog commonly known as a spring peeper. However, when the winter season arrived, Customers mistook it for a springtime ale, prompting the company to drop the word spring from the name. Lunch IPA, one of Maine's beer company's most popular beer, is named after a whale who has been spotted off the Maine coast since 1982. King Titus Porter is dedicated to a silverback gorilla that has benefited from the continuous efforts of the Diane Fosey Gorilla Fund. Prince Percy Pilsner is named after one of the Center for Wildlife Spotted Turtle Animal Ambassadors. In Wolf Neck IPA pays tribute to the Wolf Neck Center, a sustainable coast farm in Freeport, Maine. Mean Old Tom is named after the brother's uncle who was a motorcycle enthusiast and had donated his collection of beers to the bar. Hey guys and girls. Thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. And I wanna thank you for supporting me. And if you could show your appreciation, hit that subscribe button. Again, it means a lot to me. Till next time, cheers.